right, we've just been seeing this kite make its own drawing. Right, tethered to the string coming down to that water bottle with the Sharpie taped around it. As the wind was pushing it to the left and the right, this back and forthness and the up and down and the tension and the release and the compression and the, and the Sharpie going across the paper. All of that movement was so sensitively conveyed in the marks on the paper. So that's a very important lesson to think about is if you can get the kind of marks themselves to do what a kite does, right? So it already conveys kite with its movement and its expression and its, and its velocity and its weight and all of these qualities that you can bring to a line and it says kite. Then when you go and draw your kite, it's gonna be like 10 times more stronger than if you just set out to draw kite, right? This, kind of, this whole drawing that we're doing right now is called an automatic drawing. It comes from this tradition from the 20th century of the Surrealists where they were, of course you probably heard of them and they were very interested in like tapping into things like the subconscious, right? And dreams and all of that. But there, there are other things they were just into. They, they just wanted to get outside of sort of rational, linear, right? Preconceived, controlled way of working in art or thinking about life. And so with this kind of automatic drive, what you're doing is you're, you're, you're letting go of all of the control, right? This is great for perfectionists. You're letting go of all the control. And what you can do is you can just see what happens. Because like in art as in life, if you try to control it too much, right, it's the death of it, right? It kills it, it takes out all the energy. So the idea here is just to be aware of the spontaneity of the moment, to improvise, to sort of intuitively respond to what's going on. And that's a beautiful way of working in the studio. And, uh, and this particular project with the kite, I saw done a few years ago by William Lampson. He's a great artist and he was doing this down uh, in uh, I believe northern Chile flying a kite. So we're here today in this beautiful summer day just doing a uh, kind of recreating that a little bit. And I hope you got something out of it. Thank you very much. Okay.